Okay, on to the final game of Group C. We just came off of a heated match in between the White Vans and the Cha-Chas, which did decide who would be the last team to go in. So this game that we're seeing right here technically doesn't matter. It's just bonus points. This would mean, though, if, if the Strawberry 67s win this game, they are undefeated in group match play, which means they're one of the strongest teams to face against, and it's off the post. Could have been the moment, and it is the moment. Shepard goes along with his fellow paladin. Got the high five, maybe? I don't know if it's a high five. Very close to a high five. Good passing play. Samara off the post to Shepard. The Browns didn't expect anything. So close to the high five there. One new already, and the Strawberry 67s are in it to make history as the first team to go undefeated in the group stage. Hopefully they do that in the knockout stage, is what everyone hopes to do. I believe the knockout stage will be several games, though, per, per stage, so it's pretty much impossible. But, you know, it would be quite impressive if someone, if a team did such thing. Samara, Poncho, able to get the clear. Shepard chasing it down, along with Foamer. Oh, that's a good hit. Could go in. Could it be blocked off? What a save from Foamer, and it goes off the post afterwards. That is quite the shot there. I don't think anyone in the browser expecting that. I, I believe that they thought that they would at least have the goal there and tie up the game, but here we are. It's one nil. Can Armstrong get it this time, though? Samara can't get... <laughs> Samara can't get the save. Meaning that is now one-to-one. -one. So the browser, I think... Oh my god, guys. This is actually the second goal that the Browns have scored all tournament. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a, that's, a, that's a very funny thing to think about this tournament. I think this is by far the closest they've been in a game this tournament, which is great for them. You know, good job. <laughs> They're not going to last very long. R.I.P. the Browns. They're... Going out this mountain. Now, the one thing that does make this important is that the if, if this tournament happens again, if we're going to have a second version of this tournament after the series, the qualifications will be something that's a little bit more complex after this. And it may involve uh, the teams that finish bottom in their seedings would have to do games against t new teams entirely to decide if they get into the next round, which would shake some things up a bit. And I think it would be... Um, I think it'd be very interesting. So, technically, this could be the game. That's a good goal from Armstrong. But this is the game the Browse, um, that the Browse would need to win in order to ensure that they get into next year's tournament. Because they know that they're going out of this year. They know they're crashing out. But to avoid having to go through the long and hard process of the qualifiers, you, you, or you, uh, the therapist teams might go through the qualifiers. But they might, it will go through a simpler path. But uh, in order to make it out alive, um, you do not want to finish bottom in your group. So, that's why, like, the Turtles will have a very low chance of making it next year. That's a good save from Shepard. I thought that might have went in while I was talking, but no. Poncho's able to keep it up into the attack again. Samara, good clear. No one's there. No one's there. And Samara gets the goal. 2-2 two two, tie game. You know, this is just... The Browns need some stuff here. They, they need some goals. Like, this is the most goals in a game that they've had all, all tournament. That's very, very sad. They only had... They had zero goals against the White Vamps. They had one goal against the Chop Chops. And now they have two goals. Two goals against the Strawberry 67s. But they may as well still lose in this game if this play goes out to plan. Samara bumping around the defense, waiting for them to get there. Oh, it's so close. Gets the rebound off the post. And Samara, quite the lucky player there. Able to make it 3-2. to two. I believe that the camera switched to Shepard up for no reason. Sorry, my thing is vibrating right now. It's, it's the garage. The garage is opening. But, um... It is three to two at the moment. Strawberry 67s are uh, pretty much primed to take this one. They're in great form, and if they win this, they are undefeated in the group stage, as I said before, which would be entirely intimidating. Like whoever has to go up against um up against these guys in the first round, which should be the second tier team in um uh, in group uh in, in group D, which will be the next part of the tournament. That's a good shot from Shepard, saved by Poncho. But yeah, the second tier team for um, Group D will have to go up against the Strawberry 67s at the moment. It, there is still a possibility that the White Vans could take that slot, although it is highly unlikely. If the, uh, that, that, it, it would, They would have to lose by a lot right now, the Strawberry 67s, in order for that to happen. Poncho, good shot, save by Fomer. It's a really good save, actually. Chipper, can't get there, Fomer. Off the post, still in the attacking end. Can't even get there. Bump from Armstrong. Oh, the Browns are just flailing around the defensive end. So close to a save, but Fomer will get the goal that Fomer deserves. 
See, this is just a horrible bumping play there. Poncho tries to retaliate on Armstrong after that mistake. I think that was just some interesting stuff. Something must be going on within the Browse right now because they are... They don't seem to be... Sorry, that happens all the time. But they don't seem to be a, a happy group right now, as you can see. It's they're bumping everyone. They're uncoordinated. They're not on the best form. It's 4-2 to two for the Strawberry 67s. So they know that they're probably going to lose this game. But they still have like a, a decent little bit of hope because a win here would um, definitely help them out in qualifying for next year's tournament. So, uh, next year's, next season's tournament. I don't know when the next one of these will be. If this type of tournament like, is good for the channel, then it may as well continue, or may as well continue if I feel like it, because, damn, I don't care about your opinions. Let's go. Shepard with the shot, and that's into the bottom left corner. Good goal from Shepard. 5-2. I think this is, just, this is just extra goals, just so they can intimidate the opponents with their goal differences at the end of this. 5-2. to two. Uh, I don't see this going south at all. This could be definitely be an easy, easy dub for for the Strawberry 67s. Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. A little bit of an attacking chance here. Could go on net because no one is in net. Off the post. Oh, poor Armstrong. Could have been the that hat trick. Just off the side there. Samara, good drift to get to the ball, but he's dead before he even has the chance. Could be a chance here, though. Fomer misses the ball. Hit up by, I think that was Poncho. Samara kind of gets a clear. Chipper gets the hit. Poncho blocks his teammate's own shot. That's something that we've seen a lot in Group C so far. One minute left to go in Group C. Now, we already, at this rate, it's pretty much confirmed that Strawberry 67s will be top-tier team and the first undefeated team in the group stage. As I've said before, I'm still very ecstatic about the fact because this is the first time it's happened. Shepard hits it up with a clear. Armstrong, not a bad hit there, as I do say so myself. Still kind of playing around in the middle. Chipper, hitting it up. Armstrong, kind of got a bump there. Samara, not necessarily the best hit, but was able to cast it over to Fomer, who cleared it out. But no, Poncho's there. Keep it in the attacking end. The Brows are not dead yet. I mean, they they're technically are, but they're not um giving up yet. They may be dead, but they're not giving up. Quote me on that. I'm going to edit that in, you know. They, they may be dead, but they're not giving up. They have six seconds to live. Five, four, three, two, one. Can they get one more goal? Yes, they do. Lucky goal for Chipper. Making it five to three final score, but that is the last round of Group C. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to do the intro as we speak right now, just because um, time conserving, so this video doesn't look like it's an hour long. <laughs> it's probably going to be an hour long anyway, but... That is the game once this ball hits the ground. Strawberry 67s get the victory. And I gotta say, the, stra the Strawberry 67s undefeated. Undefeated.